Hey, well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Dave coming to you from the Wyoming House. Thought to give you a little bit different perspective today. I'm sitting on the deck of my son Sean's room. He's probably got the best view uh, in the house. You can see my pond and the burn pile and all that is way back in there. And then the Grand Teton is pretty much right there. So it's just a really nice view. So I just thought I'd show you something different. Um, it's a little bit cooler today. Uh, today's a nice day. I think we got cold front moving in. We got weather moving in tomorrow, which is fine by me. But uh, so anyway, it's just nice to out here. I'm getting a little bit of sun on me. Uh, it's just a really. It's been a great morning. So today I'm enjoying the. Well, I'm here, some and uh, what have I got in it? I've got that warp scarecrow back in it. Um, I have to admit, you know, I tend to not smoke aromatics, but I have to say this one is a re I really enjoy it. It's definitely sweet. I mean, I don't taste too many tobaccos that actually truly produce a real sweet, but this one certainly does. Anyway, I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would, that's for sure. I'm drinking some Pure Leaf Sweet Tea. This is for shit. It tastes great, but it's worse for you than probably any uh, any soda. But uh, my kids wanted it, so which is a bit of a theme if you've been following my videos for the last year. But um, <clears throat> now they don't drink it, so I've got eight or ten bottles in there. So I probably uh, only got four or five left, but I I'll drink it and finish it up. So the bison or buffalo. Uh, what you want to call them, we usually call them bison out here. We're on the road yesterday. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to show you a <clears throat> quick little video of how close they got yesterday. It's pretty cool. It's something I see fairly often out here. just like to share that with you. As I show you, we're surrounded by buffalo or bison. <clears throat> They obviously couldn't care less that we're here. Pretty funny, I'm gonna show you Sasha's response. What do you think of that, girl? Don't bark, no bark. So while I've been chatting with you, I got a delivery today. I literally just went downstairs and got it. It was my holster. For my three inch cold python. Can't tell if you can see the 1791 gun leather. <clears throat> this is a company I can get behind. This is a product I really enjoy. I would not even have known about it if it weren't for Uncle Willie. He's the one who introduced me to this. But if you need a holster, I prefer leather over Kydex. Um, 1791 anyway there's different color choices but this old-fashioned leather is <clears throat> really good and they pre-shrink it they pre-treat it um guns unloaded for any of you karens but it just uh i mean i haven't done anything to it it fits perfectly uh including the thumb latch so um goes on the belt just like that not only is it tight in the holster, I mean, it's not moving a budge, but it's also secured with a thumb latch. So anyway, I just uh, really like that and wanted to show it to you since it arrived while I was recording this. So the big news for me today and the reason I'm sitting here all casually smoking a pipe and showing you holsters at noon, noon 30, because I'm done. I finished the tree project today. So all 40 trees are down. About half of them have been chained out to each side here, but about half were cut up. You saw the piles over and over again. All the piles are done. 
all the piles are back here. <clears throat> the burnable materials in a big giant burn pile, and all the firewood is stacked up, ready for, uh, ready to be split. So, <clears throat> and a crazy twist of fate, the uh, wood splitter called, and it's supposed to be delivered around two o'clock today. So, um, I'm still gonna take a break. I'm not gonna jump on splitting wood. I'd like it actually. I'd like it to dry a little bit, so I probably won't jump on the splitting project till spring. But thank God the big project's over. The lawn looks great. The house looks great. The 50-foot buffer is complete. So it's a great day for me to have all that behind me. In fact, what I want to show you next is a walk around of the house with everything cleaned up and then an actual video because I know you're all screaming and you want to see the wood pile again, right? But the wood pile and the burn pile are complete, so I'm going to just uh, shut up and show you those real quick, and then we'll come back and chat. All right, guys, it's uh, about 10 a.m. Wednesday morning. We have three piles. One, two, and three. Probably going to be three, four truckloads at least. But so we'll finish the job. All right, guys, I want to show you that not only the trees cutting down, all the piles are cleaned up. So the front house looks great. On the side of the house, all these trees are down, and all those piles and trunks and everything are cut and put away. Even the back of the house, it's all done. Everything is cut down, cleaned up, piles are gone. I'll show you, continue to show you the back here. No piles anywhere. Boy, does that feel good. So 15 days on the saw and five days cleaning up. And I took a five day rest in between the chainsaw days and the cleanup days. So 25 days from start to finish. The side house is good too. So there you go. Trees are down and the yard is cleaned up. All right, I know you all were shouting, yes, yes, show us the wood pile one more time. It's the most interesting thing you've seen on YouTube. So there it is. All the piles are picked up. The lawn is clean and that is the split pile. And my supervisor also heard you. He said, hey, show us the burn pile again, please. It's the second most interesting thing you've seen on YouTube. But this is the burn pile. It's literally as tall as I am. But. Nice. And eventually, I'll show you a bunch of fire burning. All that, but that's for another time. You're probably as sick of seeing and hearing about the tree project as I am and doing it. So hopefully I'll leave it alone for a while. It sure does feel good to sit out here in the sun in the afternoon and not worry about having to go back into the yard because the big project's weighing on me. Probably show you the wood splitter when it gets delivered. And I'll get it all assembled and fired up and get the engine ready and make sure it runs and run at the operating temperature and all that. And I'll, of course, share all that with you because I show you everything. Ooh, but it does feel good sitting here right now. So in the video, I just walked you around the house and you saw the truck with the ladder up against it. And, uh, I finally scrubbed the windshield after four weeks after I drove it across the U.S. and drove it around here for four weeks. It was actually dangerous at night. A lot of people drive with their brights on. All the tourists coming down out of the Yellowstone National Park, they head south towards town at night as I'm driving north out of town. 
and they all drive with their brights on and I had so much bug guts and uh, dirt and mud on the windshield. I was really getting dangerous. So it's all cleaned and buffed and looks beautiful, but that's why the ladder was sitting up there next to the truck. All right, guys, and that kind of brings us to the end of the daily update. I guess I should mention one other thing. That's fire update. They sent uh, the fire update out about two hours ago. And the only part that I really, you know, the part that I'm most concerned with is it basically said the northern rim of the fire, which is what I'm faced with here, is uh, has seen so little fire activity that they're actually cleaning up the work they've done so that it looks better and they're uh, preparing, I think, to essentially abandon the the northern rim of the fire and concentrate on the, you know, further south. So, again, yet again, I think it's three or four days in a row now we've had improving updates. And so that and with my house now is totally ready. Um, you know, I feel I really have very little worries now. So I can concentrate on other things that need to be done around the house and around the property and maybe have a little bit more fun downtown and um but gosh what a great situation so to end this video i'm going to spin you around and zoom in i'm going to show you back here a little bit and then zoom in on the teton so you get a better better view of what you've been looking at while i talk to you that's it hope you guys are having a great wednesday hope you have a good week and we will talk to you later bye everybody all right guys here's the view you were looking at during the video I decided to show you. Just looking out towards Pacific Creek. Fires up over there. There's the guest house. My pond. My beautiful no pile backyard. I'm going to harp on that for a while, I guess. And then try to hold you steady and show you the Grand Teton. Is it just sticking up? So, my next big tree project is to cut, get get the view cleaned up get these trees down and clean yeah clean those trees out and it will be an amazing view of the teton range but that's probably going to be a 2025 project i'm kind of done with trees right now